In the situation that you need to create a generic fixture, you can simply do so by first going to your plumbing tab, your library panel, simply left click, and then left click on your generic fixture icon. Your generic terminals library will open, which will maximize. And under the project tab, we have no generic terminal created at this time. So we'll simply left click on new. As you can see, new 101 which we'll just call generic at this time. And under the fixture specifications, we'll also need to create a diameter class. We'll select the down arrow, and under the database MC4 tab, we have a variety of to choose from. We'll simply ch choose MC4. If we'd like, we can choose a manufacturer. We'll choose generic. The abbreviation is already predetermined, but if you like, you have the option to switch. For the calculation data, you have your loss in feet of water, which at this time we have 16.722, which is the default. But again, if you'd like, we have the option to switch. We'll choose 15. We have our flow rate in gallons per minute, which is 0 0.038. But if you'd like, we can change this to 0.5. If we like to have a return line connection, we'll enable the box and have our information filled in here. But if not, we'll simply disable the box and we no longer have our return line connection. For our graphic values, we have our 2D symbol, our nominal diameter, which we will select. We'll select as half inch. We also have our 3D type or our, excuse me, our 3D drawing type, which we have our 3D standard or 3D DWG block. We'll select the 3D standard. And we have our height, width, and depth all in inches. If we like, we can change these to 39.4. Or if we use the up or down arrows, we can change the value as we would like. Finally, we have our installation. For our material finishes, we can choose our down arrow and simply select anything from our database MC4 tab. As you can see, I'll choose the Propex copper ball valve. And finally, I'll select apply and then confirm with the click of OK.